Hello everybody, uh, today my hands are feeling better, uh, usually when I get my bad hands it usually lasts two to three weeks. I think it's often I was fun fighting with my, uh, with my kids, you know what I mean, and I think it just almost just sprained it a bit. Uh, well, so anyway the better, so happy days. So another thing before we get into this uh, lock, uh, I was thinking about when I pick a lock on a video, like certain locks, I'm going to like, start giving them away. Uh, say, if it, say if, for example, uh, I was picking a multi-lock classic. At the end of the video, I'd say I'm giving this lock away. Uh, obviously, the person can keep it or share it with the community or whatever. All you've got to do is just pay the postage and I'll ship it anywhere you want after that, you know what I mean? So, I'm going to start doing that. If you let us know in the comments or put a thumbs up or whatever, if you don't want to leave a comment, that's happy days, you know what I mean? So, anyway, back to this. Uh, this is a Tech 7. I can't find any information on it whatsoever. I got this off uh, Flea Beer a while back. Uh, I picked it a couple of times. Well, attempted to pick a couple of times, shall I say, and then uh, obviously I got it because uh, obviously I, I start to understand the key cuts on the guy on the key, you know what I mean? And I just like say, for instance, on this key, as you can see there, once I start to realise the cuts on the key, obviously some of the locks became much more e more, more easy to open. And obviously, you can see there, there's a knot or a six cut or whatever people want to call it. Uh, seven discs, it's got uh, two. It's got one thick anti-drill uh, disc and then another anti-drill disc underneath, so you need long tension hose for these. They look a bit like the crawl. The crawl looks a bit like this. So if anybody knows any information about it, let us know. You don't have to, you know what I mean? So, as you can see, there's your key bit on that one. So we'll zero it out. And I have picked this once, and I've done the kind of rotating trick, and it opened, and I was happy it is. So you've got to use it. A th like a tension nose like that and I've took all the black stuff off there because all the black stuff was coming off there uh, I just used a, a Dremel and you know when you get the sanding discs or like a cutting disc just use one of them and it took it all off and obviously if you look up closer that's what it looks like so I'm going to put these on as well because they keep the, the, the pick and tip and dead tight no slippage so let's give it a shot Right, get that first disc if I can. The first disc after the drill plates. Right, let's start from the bottom, won't be a rub. With this one, you don't get the uh, the slight movement and the disc back as well. You saw it's basically you've just got to pick as many discs as you can and then chance it with a uh, six cut. And it's not the target of locks, right? it's not the target of lock, it's locks as well. There on seven. Get past that I can't. Number six. Number five. Four. Go through it a few times so I think I've got all the discs set. Let me just click that on two. Right, so two, three, four. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Uh, get on that disc again if I can. 
Right, so two, three, four. No, still out. Right, start from the two again. Let's click down uh, two. I think I believe that's in a two again. Get number three. Four, five, six, seven. Let's go through it one more time. You can tell I haven't picked this lot loads of times, but I picked it open loads of times, should I say? Right, so two, three. I've picked all the discs as well on this. I'm sort of go through it again. I'll grip that number. And six. Five. Six. Seven. Joy. Right, I'm gonna go back through it again. Really, it's tricky picking uh, these kind of locks in your hand. Like, really, really is tricky. I don't understand why people put them in the vices. That's number three, four, five, six. Took us a few tries, like, but keeping the video true, you know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and uh, peace out. Bye.